Hey guys, it's April from The Simple Rugged Path and it is that time of year again. The time that I'm going to start sharing with you all of our homeschool picks for the upcoming school year. Last summer I divided everything up uh, subject by subject and that's how I'm going to do it again this summer. And we are going to start off with what we are going to use for writing. If you've been around our channel, you know that we have been slowly switching over to the Brave Writer lifestyle. We started off with Poetry Tea Time, we were already doing the nature studies and movies, and what really drew me to Brave Writer was kind of wanting a more gentle approach to writing, to put in my children a passion and a desire to do their writing projects. And so that's really what drew me to Brave Writer. Um, but like I said, we start off with the poetry tea time. We start off with all of those little things in our daily schedule. And then we added in some arrow guides, which we loved. And soon I'll be sharing with you um, the read alouds that we're doing in the upcoming year. But then we added in partnership and writing. And I did a video a few months ago on that, and I will link it below in the description box if you would like to know more about that writing curriculum. But today's video is about the one that we will be using this coming year, and that is faltering ownership. That is the next step after partnership in writing. And it comes to you in a PDF file, and the folks at Brave Writer are so kind and so generous and they are so helpful. They want to help you, the homeschool mom, in your journey and that is just one of the things I love about their company. I love the gentle approach, I love their passion for writing, and I love that throughout all of Julie's um, blog posts and all the things I see in their Facebook group page, they're just about encouraging you, the mom, and your homeschool and I love that in everything that they share, they are still very open and saying, do what works best for your family. Don't become a slave to the program. Um, turn it, change it, flip it around and make it work for your family. And it is very flexible. The program is very flexible to make it work for your family. They are so awesome. Um, like the partnership in writing. They sent us also faltering ownership for free in exchange for our honest review. And I can honestly say we are going to love it. I have been flipping through it. I have been reading it and taking notes and I am so excited. And my kids loved the um, partnership in writing. Um, for the first time they were asking to do extra writing projects and even on days that we didn't have writing projects scheduled they were asking if they could pull out the project that we were currently working on and work on it some more. They were excited to see the projects. Julie did an, and her team did an amazing job picking out some really fun projects to get your children writing without you feeling like you were writing. And so we are super, super excited to um, go into the next stage, faltering ownership. And like I said, I have been flipping through it, I have been making notes, and every time I open up and look at it, I get even more excited. And I'm super excited to do this walkthrough with you and share a little bit about it with you and some of the differences that are in it that weren't in um, partnership and writing. I hope that in this video and all my excitement I haven't mixed the two names up. We did partnership and writing last year. This year we're doing faltering ownership and faltering ownership is what I'm getting ready to turn my camera around and show you. But first I just want to tell the folks at Brave Writer, thank you so much. Thank you for uh, sending this to our family for free and blessing us with it and allowing us to share it with our viewers. And thank you so much to Julie and your team for all the amazing products that you create and just how kind and generous and helpful you are to us homeschool moms who are just trying to uh, put a love of learning, a desire and a passion for learning even when it's hard <laughs> into our homeschool days. And so if you haven't checked out Brave Writer, you really should. And if you have any questions about it, just let me know in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them. I've had some different videos already loaded about Brave Writer and I'll try to remember to link all those below. Also in the description box below will be a link to the Brave Writer store where you can find um, 
faltering ownership and partnership in writing and all their amazing products. So be sure at the end of this video to visit the description box and click on those links. Okay, let's turn the camera around and check out this amazing curriculum. Okay, I wanted to show you first of all the writing projects on the Brave Writer website before I open up partnership and writing. No, faltering ownership. See, I knew I was going to do it in this video. <laughs> um, so you would click on store and you would click on their writing products. And right here you'll find Jot It Down, which is their youngest one. That's for five to eight years old. And um, I hope eventually to um, add that into our day with Jeremiah. Then you have Partnership in Writing. That's the one we used last year for nine to ten years old. And... Um, I will say, my oldest daughter did this, she's older than 10, but it was a great transition for us because we had um, previously used a really structured and uh, tough writing curriculum that um, was a real struggle for us. So this was a great spot for us to start and get refreshed. And then there's Faltering Ownership, which is 11 to 12. And then there's help for high school. And then they also have programs where you can take online classes on here as well, which we hope to do one day. Okay, guys, this comes to you in a PDF file. I chose to go ahead and print the entire thing out just because I like to have it in my hand. Um, you certainly don't have to print it out. You can just look up all the assignments on the screen. And then I just put it in a binder or you can have it bound. So this is a year-long uh, program. It has 12 writing projects in it. So you're going to have an introduction, um, the faltering ownership principles, and then a layout of the year-long program. Part one is all about the language arts side of Brave Writer. This is in partnership and writing. And let me tell you, if you've done a previous writing program from them, don't skip this section just because you think you've read it before. Um, in Faltering Ownership, there's all kinds of new ideas on how to apply this to your children as they are growing older in each different stage of their lives. And I really, really love that and really got a lot out of going through this section. They also show you how to implement all of this into your week along with the writing program. But there are a lot of really rich and wonderful ideas in here about poetry tea time, Movies, nature study, art appreciation, music appreciation, theater, Shakespeare, and visual journal journals. Then they also talk about copy work and dictation and what that now looks like at this stage in your child's um, schooling. And different ideas to make copy work fun and exciting, especially if you've been doing it for several years. And then what to do if a child doesn't want to do dictation or they're struggling with it. So don't skip this section. It is amazing and full of wonderful ideas. Part two is oral language and what that looks like. And then part three are all of your writing projects. Each writing project is a month long, so you have 10 months. Then you have two bonus projects down here and they also include rewards. I'm going to walk through this and kind of share with you a little bit about project number one. I'm super excited about these. There's some really fun projects in here. We got Wild Words, a Dust Jacket Book, Big Juicy Conversations, and a mini report on natural disasters, a diary of a historical person, end of the year family letter, um, headlines, party school report, an oral report, another party school report, uh, the pitch, which is an advertisement, uh, deep dive into literary elements, drafting and completing the report, and then the Art of Fiction and Poetry Play are your two bonus projects. I'm really excited. <laughs> this is going to be a really fun year with writing. And, you know, something else that I um, have heard on the Brave Writer thing is sit down and do the writing projects with your kids. Let them see you doing it and learning, and I think it'll make it even more fun for them. Okay, so here's project number one, Wild Words. And then right here, they lay out a daily schedule for also adding in the arrow guides and poetry tea time and movies and everything so you can kind of get a layout but again make it work for your family you don't have to stick to exactly how they tell you to so with the project they have a description the objective the process and the project so i love this because it gives me an idea of what their goal and idea behind this was and how to make this work for our family and over here they tell you the tools that you're going to need for this project then they divide it up week by week. It's all laid out there for you. And again, you can um, 
some of the projects are super simple so you can do more than one in a week if you want to or you can spread them out longer if you want to but they tell you exactly what you're doing that week how to do it and different ideas for doing it the words you're going to create a word pool so i love this project because it's going to get your kids really comfortable with using rich words and not just the same basic verbs and um, adjectives over and over again but you're going to find some fun words and you're going to play with words and become comfortable with words before you even begin writing the big papers um, so again week two another fun way to play with words and it's broken down day by day of what you can do and then week three is scrounged poetry if i'm saying that right um, and again what that looks like how to do it some guidelines for it so everything is there to make this fun interesting grab and go super easy for you the mom and then we go into month number two so there you go guys that's faltering ownership uh, the writing program that we will be using this year for brave writer in our homeschool just to give you an idea we have a sixth grader and then we're going to have a ninth grader and they will both be doing this together. Check out all the links in the description box below. Follow us here on YouTube, subscribe and hit that notification bell because I will be updating about this throughout our school year and then also sharing about it on our Instagram and Facebook pages. So make sure you're following us over there as well. Thank you guys. And let me know in the comments if you have any questions and stay tuned for our next curriculum reveal video. Hey guys, thanks for watching The Simple Rugged Path. And JJ says, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the little bell icon so you'll be notified when we release new videos. Thanks again for watching The Simple Rugged Path. And we'll see you next time.